Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to unbox a Gauman pen display. This is the uh, Gauman PD156 Pro digital art tablet. I know you guys really like the digital art tablet reviews. So we're going to unbox this one. I've never used this brand before. Uh, big thanks to Gauman for sending it over for us to review. So I have to have to disclaim that. So according to the box, this has a battery free stylus, uh, tilt, uh, 1920 by 1080p for those of you who are concerned about the numbers here are the specifications on the box over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity that's pretty good let's see what's in the box okay got a I believe it's a stand case here we go Let's see what we have here. If you guys hear the noise in the background we're in the, the clownfish game room so <laughs> that's what all the noise is uh, let's check this out feels very solid let's get this un, unwrapped let's see what we've got so this is actually a very solid unit it's not very thick though, but it's heavy. It feels heavy. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, this is a stand. Okay. That's also it's also pretty solid. Quick start guide. Oh, I've got this. I've got this upside down. Quick start guide. Of course, the obligatory, the obligatory drawing glove or stylus, which is nice. This is about the right thickness. I don't like styluses that are uh, too thick. They feel like a Sharpie marker, but this is a, a battery-free stylus. Apparently, like the Wacom's, it's, it's got uh, one cable for everything, which is a huge bonus. I hate having to work with a bunch of different cables. Okay. Nibs, of course, and then. All right, so that's what's in the box, but you know, we all know what matters is what's under the hood and how it performs, and we're gonna take it for a test drive. Okay, guys, you can see I have the tablet hooked up. Now, I really didn't have a lot of issues you know, hooking this tablet up. I did have to uninstall drivers from another tablet that was connected to this computer, but uh, I am really impressed with just how heavy this tablet is. It's very, very sturdy. I mean, it's not too heavy that you can't take it with you, but um, I wasn't expecting this, especially for the price. Uh, I really wasn't. But yeah, we've got our click wheel here. We're zooming in and out. We've got function keys. And um, let's, see how the, uh, let's see how the sensitivity is on this. I mean, this feels really nice. It clicks. It kind of reminds me of, of an old iPod. Um, Let's see how it is here as we uh, see view. We'll do um, fit the screen. I think I'm going to do a sketch of of uh, Mario since everybody's talking about the new Super Mario movie. So I'll just do a quick sketch here. Oh wow! Yeah, this is this is really nice. Uh, I'll zoom in a little bit and show you here. Uh, there is. No jitter, there is no lag, and these are the default settings. I haven't really even messed with the settings too much, but um, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, the texture on this tablet is really nice. It reminds me of a Wacom, uh, more so than a lot of the other, you know, uh, non, non Wacom tablets that are more glass like. This uh, this feels really good. I mean, I'm 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 look. We've we've reviewed tablets on this channel before, and uh, I've been impressed with a lot of them. But like this this one, especially for the size, especially for the price, just feels really really good to draw with. Uh, everything is right. The texture feels right with the stylus. And again, there's no there's no battery in this one. I know some styluses have batteries or they have to be recharged. If you can see this, but 
I mean, obviously it doesn't have an eraser, but that's that's okay. Uh, I usually don't use the eraser anyway because I just I, I got in the habit of not doing it because the first tablet I could afford uh, didn't have an eraser. So I'm you know used to used to doing it old school. Now for those of you who are asking, and some people do ask, and I don't think it's I don't think it's a stupid question at all. Uh, no, this tablet needs to be hooked up to a PC. Um, it's not an all-in-one drawing unit right here. Lots of functions. They're not in the way either. I know I've reviewed some other tablets where they had the function keys, but you would accidentally bump one, and this, the drawing surface is far enough away that uh, you know, it doesn't seem to be an issue at all. And of course, I always appreciate the, I always appreciate the wheel because it makes things just go a lot faster. My first attempt at Mario in probably like three or four years now, so bear with me. But um, yeah, it's, I mean, this is a, God, this is really nice. Um, I'm going to, I think, zoom in and show you uh, just how, just how well this performs. So again, here's my sketch that I did uh, with my swishy, Swishy blue pencil in Clip Studio. Uh, I've created a new layer and um, let's try inking on this and see, see how it goes. It's a little more sensitive than what I'm, I'm used to, but that's okay because you can tweak the settings. But yeah, just to show you, like there is um, no jitter at all on this. I mean, people are always asking about it. This is legit. This is, a, this is actually a very good tablet. And uh, we reviewed a lot on the channel, but this is definitely one of the better performing units that we've we've reviewed. And uh, again, I think you know for the price, and I got to tweak some of the settings here. But it just it feels right. It just it, it feels uh, right, and I think it's um, definitely a good value for the money. Now, the only issue I had with it was you know getting the drivers installed, and that was because of um, you know, the fact that I had other tablets hooked up to this particular computer. You can see how good the color is uh, on it. Again, this is, an, it's not a very big tablet, but um, the color is amazing. I mean, it has a really good color quality. Here, let's do some other, let's pull some other art up. Um, this one is from Shadowbinders. A beautiful, beautiful color. Um, zoom in. It's a 88% NTSC color gamut for those of you who are wondering. I mean, I know a lot of people are very like particular about their tablets and how accurate the colors are, but I'm going to tell you it, it looks beautiful. It looks very nice. I mean, I know I've worked on some tablets before where the colors didn't quite look the way that they do in print, but I can tell you that the, this one for sure does. It definitely does. So let's go out to, um, let's do a little bit of a test here. Uh, I did this one before. This, speaking of Mario, I did this Bowsette drawing a couple of years ago. I think this is the last time I drew Mario. But let's do a new, um, let's open up a new document here in Clip Studio. And I'm going to show you just how good the performance is. So we've got our real pencil tool. Let's try that first. Uh, again, there's no parallax at all. There's no lag. I mean, it, it really keeps up. Now, this particular tablet has a 60 degree tilt support, so you can, pencil is a really good one to show you. It's just like drawing on paper. I mean, the performance on this thing is absolutely amazing. Again, for the price, I, I have no complaints. Uh, it's got 8,192. I guess that's what it says, 8,192 levels of pen pressure. Um, the stylus is battery battery free. That's another plus. I know um, some of the uh, non Wacom tablets I've used required a battery and it made the, the stylus feel very heavy and this, this feels very, very right. Let's try uh, different tools here. Um, let's see what we can do. We can go up to do a pastel pencil. Let's get a Let's do some watercolor and pick a nice red here. Okay, now brushes, brushes are usually where I have trouble with stylus where you can really see the, the limitations, but I mean, this is just really, really beautiful. 
Uh, in fact, I might actually switch this one to my main for a number of reasons. Uh, and I do have multiple tablets, but one it is very lightweight for the most part. I mean, it's got some heft to it for the size, but uh, I can easily throw this in a, in a laptop bag. And uh, speaking of which, it actually comes with a really nice case too. But it just feels right. This is a, this is a tablet, and again, I'm not trying to oversell. I really don't have anything in this one. Dog in this fight, they basically just gave me one to review, um, and I've got tablets, so it's not like I, I needed it. But it, this is one of the best performing tablets I've ever reviewed on the channel. Trying not to oversell it at all. Uh, again, the only compensation we we got for this was was this unit, but I'm incredibly impressed. <laughs> with with what i'm seeing and uh, i think i'm going to be using this i'm going to be using this more and more now as far as a hookup goes again one plug you can either plug it into your your laptop or your desktop uh, you can also use an ac adapter um, it's just it's it's an amazing unit and again for the price i, I can't complain at all um, i think you'll be very impressed i think there is a, a, a link in the description if you want to pick one up on Amazon, but I highly recommend, highly recommend this tablet. Again, this is the uh, Gaumann PD-156 Pro. Gaumann PD-156 Pro. Um, and it's a badass little unit, guys. Again, a big thanks to Gaumann for sending this tablet over for review. I'm gonna put links in the description and pin them in the comments if you want to buy the PD-156 Pro on Amazon, and if you go out, if you check out the uh, the link for the US store, you'll see that they have some special offers here. Uh, again, this tablet is is under $400, but but wait, there's more. Uh, they've currently got a coupon. Um, you can get a free replacement digital pen if you lose yours, and you can also get another uh, screen film protector. So lots of, uh, lots of bonuses. And again, this is a tablet I highly recommend. Uh, check it out for yourself. We'll talk to you later.